Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race. I'll see you in the video. A three million dollar Mustang guys. Yes, this is the three million dollar Mustang and it is absolutely awesome. And I'll show you guys why but before we get started with this video be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys have it and don't forget to click that post notification bell because today guys i'm going to be showing you guys the drift mustang in a cdt and you guys can see how amazing this car looks of course i've added some mods to it guys i've had put the spike tires in there and i did lower it just to make it look cool and drift a lot better and you guys can see i am snug in there with these bucket carbon seats man this is absolutely awesome yeah. you guys can see there's really nothing in here to make it look like it's a three million dollar mustang but i'm gonna show you guys why it is what is going on over here why is there a bunch of like dices and watermelons flying out the cars and you guys can see that this is a part of the drift event guys this vehicle and this one we had to actually buy in the game with either robux or money guys this is not part of the uh you know actual event itself but it is part of the update and as you guys can see i already pulled off a mustang accident right there absolutely embarrassing but we deserve not to get any points from that but you guys can see we are off on this drift race and the reason why we're here guys is because i want to show you guys why this car is absolutely awesome now you're probably wondering why is this better than ken blocks unicorn and guys no this is not better than ken blocks unicorn it does feel a little bit heavy but i gotta tell you guys that this car knows how to drift it's just i don't know how to drift right now but you guys can see we got that 7000 multiplier right there and we are off guys i'm gonna actually show you guys my skills right now besides that ignore that part right there but let's go ahead and make this drift right over here oh my gosh dude we almost made that that would have been almost perfect okay this game th this match right here isn't my match of course it's not but we are still winning so far let's go ahead and just finish this match off guys oh my gosh we are competing what is that an m3 we're, we're competing with an m3 right now guys I don't know how that's gonna turn out for my boy. And look at that, we got first place already. All right, this is the second match right here. Let's see if we do a little bit better. And you guys can see <laughs> this car can just absolutely whip the whole entire body, guys. But the only issue I have with this Mustang is the fact that it is kind of heavy, guys. Look at that. It is really heavy. But once you guys get the experience going, it is an absolutely fun car but for three million dollars guys is it even worth it i'm gonna be honest the question is no for three million dollars guys i know this is probably the price of the real vehicle which i see why they priced it at three million dollars but in cdt it is just absolutely heavy guys this car is absolutely insanely heavy and it doesn't perform as good as a drift as the unicorn but it does do very uh, well than most of the drift cars that were out here. I think this car would be actually perfect if the power output was a little bit stronger, guys. Like you guys can see the uh, power on this is a real-wheel drive. If they made this an all-wheel drive, just like Ken Block's Unicorn, guys, I think this would actually do very, very well. But this is more of a drift car. You guys can see we got 21,000 points. That's insane. And then we got first place, but this is more of a drift car, I feel like, for the city itself. I don't know about being in here. I know it does really well, but I feel like this is a great car for the city race. And let's try it out. And we're off with the city race, guys. And this has so much power. I wish the fans in the back actually spun. But check this out, guys. Oh my gosh. You guys can't be gentle with this car. You guys actually have to thud around very aggressively and just like that look at that dude this is an insane drift car it is absolutely fun it's just meant for the open roads not really for a closed circuit 
like the drift race, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's super fun. And it is worth $3 million. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is worth every penny to me because of how fun this car is. Let's try it right over here, guys. I did fail on the last attempt. Ah! <laughs> no! It is super hard to get on that corner, but this car is beautiful. All right, long drift right over here. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Dude, this car is insane, and this angle looks pretty cool, too. Oh, no! <laughs> Mustang in the water! Hopefully, they bring a race for the drift event next time guys like a very cool like mountainside drift race oh my gosh that was a cool trick i meant to do that yo that is wild look at this we are about to drift all right we're coming up on this drift right up here this is a very tricky drift right up here this i never get this right here we go look at that it's just not enough room it's way too heavy to be thrown around like the unicorn if it was a little bit lighter and if it had front wheel drive, I believe this car would be absolutely amazing. But it's only rear wheel drive, so it doesn't catch all of the weight in the front when it does drift. You guys can see that back wheel is just working like super hard. Which, you know, it, every drift car can uh, can relate to. But the Hoonicorn, the way it's built, guys, it was just absolutely beautiful and genius. But this car is super fun. If you guys don't want the Hoonicorn... Oh my gosh, look at that. That was so cool. If you guys don't want the Hoonicorn's, uh, you know, very sensitive drift, I think this one is a very, very common one right here, guys. This one is a very accurate drift car right here. All right, my last attempt on this one, guys. This is my last attempt. Oh, okay. Kind of did it. <laughs> I kind of did it. But this car, guys, I got to say, it is absolutely beautiful. It does the job but it is way too heavy if this car was maybe a million dollars it would make sense but as of right now three million dollars not really but like i said it is a very fun car even though you guys see me crash most of the time it is something to get used to but if we can score twenty thousand points guys just like we did with the lamborghini drift car i believe this car is up there with it guys but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe guys and if you guys think that this car is worth the three million dollars let me know why and if you guys think it's not let me know why as well and if you guys got this leave it in the comments down below and let me know if you like it and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe click that post notification bell and peace out oh gosh i hit the cop sign